spoiling these children. Why? You shouldn't always give them what they ask for. Oh, come on. I promised them good time. Let them have it. Yeah. You worry too much. It's my job. have been forgotten. Somebody is jealous. This is a real funny place. You can actually live in this town with your brother for 10 years and not run into him. Oh, certainly. I saw an old schoolmate today. I had a flat tire in front of my plaza. I was trying to change my tire. And from nowhere, the guy just sprang out. Helped me change my tire. I couldn't believe it. I haven't seen him for 10 years. And then um, he said he lives in this VI. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's Lagos for you. It happens all the time, especially if there's really nothing to bring you together. You can live with somebody in the same place. I mean, yeah. Well, let's not talk about old friends. This moment is for us. How is it today? It was great. How was your day? Yes, sir. 
Hello, hello Charles, Priska here. Yeah. Hi. I still can't believe this. That we both live in this town and all these years we didn't run into each other. Lunch won't be possible today. Okay, can we? All right, tomorrow then. Thanks for the other day. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Please come into my office immediately. Oh, Richie. You're back. Why was it there? Yes, Dan. Dan. I'm worried about you. About me? Your life's tired, Dan. <laughs> Dan, I don't fancy your excessive drinking. I don't fancy your compulsive womanizing. I'm just telling you this because you're a colleague that I like. Thanks, Richie. I appreciate it. I'll stop with just a little while. A little more while. You better quit now, Dan, before you do damage to your home. Don't hurt that angel that is your wife. She doesn't deserve that. Oh, but come off it, Richie. Let me worry about my wife. She might be an angel to you. You don't sleep with her. I do. There are two different things between what the eye sees and what the mind does. Did you see the girl waiting for you in the reception? Oh. Why, yes. why, why do you have to bring them into the office? Why? Not to worry. Just don't worry. Just never mind. Richie, don't worry. <laughs> Kids say they didn't go to school today. 
Why? The car didn't start. And by the time the mechanic was done, it was pretty late. And what happened to the taxis? Skipped my mind. Friska. It skipped your mind. You're losing your guard. You're losing touch completely with all the things that bind us together. You're changing into someone I don't know and I'm afraid. I don't like it. Retrace your steps. If you've made up your mind to walk out of my life, Go on, oh, I say it's fine. You have opened my eyes. It's not hard to be wise. You know what? You know what? Thank you. 
When I did, unfortunately, one snap. Man is keeping you in his house. children they're waiting in school. They can wait. Let's be good lunch. into the office like that. Okay, what if you have been your wife? Yes. My wife? She doesn't come to the office either. I think she has to come to clear with the receptionist before coming into my office. She will definitely start someday. Yeah? Sit down. A romance in the office is the height of it. Richard is right. You have to come out of this terrible habit. And to think that he has woman for a while. What that crap about women and faithfulness? What do you know about women? <laughs> Me. Just 
people that have been married to one for 12 years and uh, believe me anything I don't know about a woman by now it's not worth knowing. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, Richard, isn't that going a little far? Restricted. How long is it just your wife? I just wonder. I just wonder. Come now. Talking about your wife. How much do you know about your wife? <laughs> My wife. Yes, your wife. Let's say, uh, in terms of faithfulness, how much do you know about your wife? Oh, everything. You may not know a thing about yours, but believe me, I know everything about my wife. Everything. <laughs> Richard, uh, you sound to me like a believer. But if you believe this, then you believe anything. Let me just eat, let me just eat.
I worry about nothing but the bubbles. They are content. If you've made up your mind to walk out of my life, go on. Oh, I say it's fine. You have opened my eyes, and it's not hard to be wise. You know I didn't wake up. What's that? 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 Talking about, talking about your wife. How much, how much do you know about your wife? Let's, let's, in terms of, in terms of sentiments, how much do you know about your wife? You may not, you may not know anything about your wife, but you may not know everything about your wife. Don't be afraid to be like a believer. Well, don't mind the abode of a retired man. My wife is on sabbatical, the children are at school. It's just us somewhere and sit. Well, I have nothing to offer you. So don't expect it. Thank you. <laughs> I have a job for you. A job? You must be joking. I'm not joking. Well, the only job I know how to do is police job. And since I was retired, pretty much only so 15 years ago, I've done nothing in particular. I want somebody followed, and I believe you can do that. Well, that depends on the subject. Will you do it for a fee of 30,000 Naira? 30,000 Naira? You won't be joking, of course. I'm dead serious. With that kind of money, I will dig a lot of graves. In this case, nobody has to dig any grave. So? I want my wife followed. My wife? Has she been, uh, you know what I mean? Anyway, they all do these days. I'll tell you what. I caught my wife with a make heart. A make heart! But I ignored it all. It's the way of the world these days. But I don't expect you to act the way I did. I am an old man. 
You are a young man. Of course, I don't expect you to treat the infidelity of your wife with just a wave of hand. So? I'll pay you 20,000 naira now. And the balance when I have a concise report. This is 20,000 naira. I'll be expecting to hear from you. Well, Richie, it's good business. Don't say that. you want to wake up the entire neighborhood? Priska, what have I done wrong? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, why have you abandoned your matrimonial bed? Is this not a bed? I told you some time ago that you've lost your guard. You have lost touch completely. 
There's something about you that scares me. You have become a total stranger. I don't know what you're trying to get at. At the dearness of time, you will know. Good night. <laughs> Mr. Wonke, I thought I made it clear that we should not meet here in my office. Well, with what I've got to report, I felt your office is the best place. So, you're right, my boy. You're right. What? She's having an affair, all right. Mm. Me too. There is a young man, fair complexioned, athletic, overtly handsome, quite above six feet, and walks with an air of someone who is very confident of himself. And from the way your wife looks, each time she's coming out from the house, that guy is very good in bed. She sees him twice a day and your kids come back from school three hours late because your wife... Enough. 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Rogers. You gave me a job and you paid for that job. And when I'm paid for a job, I do it well. I'm only reporting. balance. I like dealing with gentlemen, but what baffles me is why a woman would cheat on a man like you. Old man, please leave. Well, Mr. Rogers is understandable. Leave! Aren't you interested in knowing the address of the... Get out! Out! Have a good day, Mr. Rogers. days ago, you told me that if I believed I knew everything about my wife, then I would believe anything. I want to ask you, Dan, is there something you know that I don't? Mr. 
picture. The world we are in is a funny one. And women are the funniest. You don't give to them more than you can throw away. You just don't.
She comes in at least one hour late. Daddy, is something wrong with mom? Never mind. Let me take you people. Life is given to me. this children then say so I can afford a nanny. Why don't you just get to all right? You even have to ah, no, 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 no. The next time this kind of thing happens then you will see the other side of me. You have the mouth to talk back at me. Never come back. Well, I have. So let's have it. This time it's going to cost you 5,000 naira. I thought you had retired and left your old ways behind. Well, once a policeman, ever a policeman. <laughs> Want a drink? No, thank you. Good. You say thank you very much. I wouldn't mind eliminating that idiot for your sake. Let me just have the address. Yes, I'll give it to you.
think it's over. <laughs> mm. I've heard that so many times now. I did not mix beautiful music in the ears. I know. But this time, it's for real. in a hurry to say things you regret later. Huh? We're having a swell time here. And why break up the orchestra? Because I'm breaking up my family. I'm tearing my family into shreds. My husband and children despise me. My husband is convinced I'm having an affair. Must have been careless. Oh yeah, maybe. I mean, I've never been good at two timing, and have never been in love with two men. Worst of all, I do not pretend. Charles, I've not slept with my husband since the day I met you. But this time, I'm going home to my family. Maybe I was meant to be your husband. Just you are not. Please find your better half. I'm going home to mine. something to discuss. Like what? Like Prisca. Prisca. Perhaps I should come in, don't you think so? If you think so, 
I don't think we have anything to talk about. You certainly live well. You have something that belongs to me. Something of yours? You stole something from me and I want it back. My friend, are you out of your mind? Of course you are. I'm very busy, eh? I want you to walk back through that door. Because I don't welcome cranks here. Yeah? If you were not a crank yourself, you should have asked me what. What? My name is Richard Rogers. You stole my wife and I want her. Definitely not the man I married. Then please tell me. What is it has come between us? Eh? This, this, this. I have an early date tomorrow. Can I just get this? Please. Dan, when last did you perform your matrimonial duty in this house? Dan, for God's sake, I am a woman! I am a man, for Christ's sake! And I have the right to be tired, eh? I'm tired! I tell me what to do in this house. And that, uh, why did you do in this house?
How did it go? Wonderful. Fantastic. I met him bleeding and almost lifeless. Maybe he was sleeping with another victim again. And her husband caught them. That guy's a bastard. He's a damn bastard. Sleeping with my wife? Well, let him go and continue his exploit in hell. I got rid of him. Got him? Yes. Good. Was he behaving abnormal? I mean, was there something you saw that the ordinary eye wouldn't have normally taken in? Anything, madam, anything. Look, Inspector, my wife has told you all she knows about this guy. They were just schoolmates and that's it.
What are you doing here? Is this no longer a matrimonial outfit? You want to impress my mom, and that's why you're here. And give, her, give her the impression that everything is fine. I really can't give it a thought. I see. By the way, why didn't you tell me she's coming? At least I'd have gone to the airport with you. Prisca, when was the last time we rode together in the same car?
I've watched both of you closely these past few days that I've been around. You're not the couple I met when I came last year. You're poles apart. And I'm going to suggest a separation instead of continuing this way. Oh, yes. Your kids say every day you hate them. Richard is not saying it, but obviously you're living like a cat and dog. So I ask you, what have you done to your family? Mama, you seem to believe in the curse of it. But what about him? The woman builds the home, Priska. When I came last year, I saw a wonderful, happy family. What happened? Well, I don't know what happened to her. Mama, I still love my husband very much. It was just a small problem. What problem? It's 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 rather rather personal. I'm a woman, Priska. An old one, of course. You can fool your husband for all I care, but certainly not Mrs. Atimuka Rogers. It's not what you think, Mama. There's this dangerous thing about infidelity. Once you get in, you stay in. There's no safety net. And it's usually the outside man who can put a stop to it. The woman, she's usually helpless.
down, look at the vase and bring back memories. I still love you. I still love you, Prisca. My God, how I do. Richie. I have something for you. Yeah. What? It's a small token. You can open them. Beautiful. She likes. Wow. 
Richard, I think you've got to talk to your wife. The two of you have got to open up to yourselves. I'm taking the kids away for a week. And by the time we come back, I expect to see a happy couple. We never really saw each other, but we kept in touch. Three years later, we lost contact completely. That was when I met you. I never slept with any other man until I met you. And I never saw him either. I never saw him again until that day when I had a flat tire in front of Mega Plaza. I was trying to change my tire when I saw him. It was like my days in a university came back. So for something as flimsy as the changing of a tire, you shattered our home. You destroyed our happiness. Yeah. Not for the changing of tire, but for my first man. Well, that's a very perfect excuse for what you did. Thank you very much. You didn't have to kill me. You didn't have to kill me. 
kill him for my sake. I didn't mean to kill him. I want you to believe that. When you started behaving strangely, I had you watched.
never kill anyone. Will you ever forgive me? I should be asking for that forgiveness. I guess it's over now. is human and it's at your advantage forgive her now she becomes your slave forever divorce her and marry another one good 
But how are you sure that other one will turn out worse? Richard, men boast they know so much about women. But take the word of your mother. There's a lot about women God hid from men. Ask Adam. for adultery is divorce. Richard, God says you can forgive 70 times, 7 times. Please, for the sake of our children, please, Richard, All right. But you have to know one thing. <laughs> Nothing will ever be the same again. Nothing. Yeah. 
Goodbye. I know things will never be the same again. And I am guilty. I gave the love hope. It's in a great home. But I gave it all up for a mere school of fantasy. And I don't deserve you anymore. You are too good for the treatment that I gave you. children that I love them. I love them very much. And I love you more today than I did the first time that I met you. I feel so dirty. Please forgive me. Forgive me for the broken dreams. I forgive you, Prisca. Priska, please come back to me. We are sailing the ship of life On troubled waters, stormy weather Still holding on, waiting for the sun Give and take 